Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Can Chris Solve, where we're going to be trying out a puzzle by Core Cube Mods. You may remember the Handlebar Cube and the Mirror Eye Cube. Now, I decided to buy another puzzle from Jared, and that is in this package. So let's get it open. Amazing. So as promised, Jared has sent over a stand for the handlebar cube. Um, so that's this nice little acrylic thing. So I'm assuming this just sticks in here like this. And then, ta-da. Wow, hold on a sec. There we go, look at that guy just hanging there. That's amazing. Wow, Jared, thank you so much for that. I really like that. That's lovely. So, this is uh, Core Mods. Um, so, Jared can be found on Instagram at Core Cube Mods, and you can also email him with any um, purchase queries at corecubemods at gmail.com. Um, really, really awesome puzzles. So good, in fact, that I needed to buy another one. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this stand as well. This obviously goes with Core Cube Mods like logo. Awesome. Wow. I like that a lot. It has core mods there. Jared, thank you so much for these stands. These are really awesome. But now to the puzzle. So this is called the Hooky Cube. And you'll see why in just a second. Wow. This looks amazing. Um, so this is built from what looks like the same um, 3x3 as the Handlebar Cube. Yeah, I think it's just a Chi Warrior or a Sail or something. Um, but as you can see, this puzzle has hooks on, I think it's five of the six faces, and they seem to be kind of random. And obviously the the point is, if you catch a hook on another hook, it's kind of bandaged, so that's not going anywhere. Like, <laughs> that's not going anywhere either. Oh my God, wow. So <laughs> this is so cool. All right, wow, so so yeah, I decided to buy this because I really like the handlebar cube and the mirror eye cube. Oh, this is this can't even do one move, this white face. I'm gonna try and scramble this up as best as I can, um, but obviously with the bandaging, that's a bit of a problem. So I just wanna get on with the solve as soon as possible, so let's see what moves we can make. All right, wow, look at this puzzle. This is awesome. Um, yeah, this is the hooky cube. So without further ado, let's try and solve this guy. So we're gonna begin with the cross and everything seems good so far. We have all the hooks on this red face and then just three on the others. So um, as long as we keep this to the side, we shouldn't have any problems at all. Um, so where's green? Is this going to be an issue for us? Oh, so we have a hook here, which is bad. Um, okay. Oh, no, green's back here, so we need to put blue in, which is fine. And then we need to turn the green around, which is the same issue. Although I can still move, so does that count? Because I technically have made the turn. Um, hmm. I'm going to make up the rule that that doesn't count, that you can't do a move like that. On the basis that, I don't know, it makes it harder. So we've put in the green a different way without making that uh, that top move, which, which bandage is here. Um, so that's the cross done, which is good. Uh, next up, we have... F2L, I can see that this coming out will, will help this corner, but we can't do that, so, oh, we can't do that either, can we do that, oh, we can't do anything with this face, okay, alright, that's tricky then, okay, that's fine, because I made the turn and it didn't detach, 
Okay, so we've managed to get this piece out of here, and that's going to pair up with this guy back here. Can't move the U-face at all now. So... Oh no. So this orange is causing us a lot of problems, as is this green. So I wonder if we can just try now. And then restore. Ah, that works. So we move the orange out of the way. That's good. Oh, we still have that same problem though. Oh, because... <clears throat> Alright, so because this is the piece we're trying to solve, it's... Every time we move the orange, this comes with it. I wonder... Okay, new plan. We're going to do orange on the bottom. Don't know why I didn't think of this to begin with. Because orange and green are two very problematic pieces. So let's put you on the bottom. You're okay. You're not actually really rubbing against each other. So that's fine. Um, and then hopefully we can do a nice U. Alright, orange is... Done. Good. So all the hooks are on this side of the puzzle again. Uh, okay. Okay. So we need yellow and blue, which is over here. No, not happening. Ah, oh, all right. Okay. So we need something else. Oh my god, this orange! This orange is causing nothing but problems! Okay, I'm gonna take you out. Can't do that. Take you out like that. And now we need the yellow on top. Which we can do. Can we insert you? Okay, first death to well pair done. Wow, this is really tough. Uh, so next up, we're gonna try and do this piece. Which doesn't work. Because of the orange, naturally, because of our orange piece. Okay, so let's try and do this in a different place. So there's our pair made. Can't insert it that way because of the bandaging, but we can sledgehammer it in. Two F2L pieces. This is good. So now we need... Uh, well, this piece is in incorrectly for a start. Oh, is this going to let us do that? Alright, that goes in as planned. And hopefully... Oh, so the rest of F2L was actually insanely easy. Wow, okay. So now uh, we're on... OLL. Okay, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Ah, uh, okay, algorithms are going to be a problem for us. F, U, R. Okay, definitely not happening. Can we do a soon? Ah! No! Ah! What? This thing is impossible. Please let me do this move. Yes, yes. Now we're just one anti soon away. Okay, that doesn't work. That definitely doesn't work. Okay, so the anti soon definitely doesn't work. So we're going to have to do soons. Does this work? No. Oh, no. That doesn't work because of that hooking. What if we did like a U-perm to move this out of the way? Would that... No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Ah! Up this way. Come on. Come on. Does this soon work now? Oh, come on. Oh, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, so we'll go back. 
Okay, so I did a soon and I got somewhere else. I wonder if this will work. Nope. Soon anywhere. Nope. Soon here. Ah! Oh! oh my god, this is impossible. What? There are some moves where it glides over and I don't know if that is allowed or not. Oh my god. Oh hello? Oh my god. Oof. Okay, so I'm going to assume, for the sake of assuming, that if, if a piece kind of glides over another piece, so like, I can't find an example now, but like it's very obvious that this shouldn't work because these two are clashing. But then there's others where it kind of does slightly work. Like there, like there, you see that? I don't... Don't know if that should work or not, but if it does happen like it did just then, I'm going to let it happen. Okay, so... A perm. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a T perm. No! T perm doesn't work. Let's do another A perm. Come on. Oh. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, how do I go back? No. Okay, we're good. Um. Oh. Okay. T perm didn't work. F perm. Oh no, we're back at the soon which gracefully worked for us. Oh my God, wow, okay. Um, oh, whoa, what is this? This is a U-perm. That's not working. Oh, backup U-perm, anyone? Uh, no. Oh, we're so close. Okay, let's try U-perm this way. Okay, that worked. So let's try that now this way. Come on. Come on, just a U2. This should work. This should work. Come on. Yes! Wow. <laughs> what an awesome puzzle. What an incredible puzzle. Um, Jared, incredible job. This is easily one of the best bandaging 3x3s I've ever played with. <laughs> So cool, such an awesome design, and so tricky. Um, that's amazing. Really incredible job on that. Um, we managed to solve the hooky cube. Uh, that was really tough, but it was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed solving that. Um, so yeah. Uh, but you can check out Jared and all of his different puzzles on Instagram. I'll have a link in the description below. And of course, remember to email Jared if you have any um, inquiries about buying his puzzles. Uh, he'll get back to you on uh, any of those. So yeah, thanks a lot, Jared. This was a really awesome puzzle. And Chris was able to solve the hooky cube. Um, amazing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know how you would have solved this in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe for more puzzles like these in the future. Have a really awesome day. See you guys next time.